G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in the brand new Alpha 19, we're about to continue the Extinction series into Day 9. And I've just kind of realised that we're getting a little bit further away from the last hornet, we're getting further from the last hornet and closer to the next one, and we've really done nothing in regards to preparing for the next horde as my fire stops cooking, which should mean I now have some charred meat on there ready to go. Turns out the new charred meat is actually kind of good because it doesn't have the chance for dysentery anymore. You're not going to get food poisoning by cooking, or by cooking, by eating cooked meat, which is a, a nice change I appreciate. So quickly snack on a little bit of that. But overnight, I've gone through and just kind of organized my house a little bit. I've put in finally my storage boxes over here, which all look nice and lovely. Lovely. Put you back in there. Quickly just slurp down, gurp down some water. That still has a chance for dysentery, which is kind of upsetting. I bet you that's going to bite me in the butthole at some point soon but for now we're doing okay but the sun is about to rise on a new day which means i need to go and do some more stuff i feel like i mean i can do a lot of like base prep and stuff like that kind of like in one day like on day 14 i should be able to do it pretty quickly so i don't need to like go all out and like uh rack my tits just yet about that i can keep going and keep trying to find some more loot so i'm gonna pedal off into the distance try and find myself some somewhere decent to raid and hopefully find myself anything that's decent to kill a zombie with oh i see that over there yeah nah let's go for it let's go for it we know that the greenhouse despite being the utter death trap that we know it is i almost died of there once upon a time in a previous life oh it's lots of bird's nests just there which i kind of want the feathers for for more arrows but even though that we know that the bird's nest is a death trap get out my marble axe i still want to go through there because it's got some relatively relatively easy loot to get up and get out pretty cleanly so it's like a reinforced chest up there unless they've changed it which they might have but this time rather than like last time i came through here where i just broke through the ceiling and went the shortcut way and very nearly got myself killed because apparently all the zombies in here have the dexterity and the coordination and balance of some very well trained circus performers they can run across the pipes upstairs which makes me nervous so instead i'm going to take my time trying to slowly go through here and murder every oh murder everyone on the down low and hopefully get through here without too many scratches and scrapes. I don't want to get in a fight. I just want to murder you from a distance. Like that idiot. Boom. Oh, the headshots are so good now. I can't tell if that is a crawler or if it's just a, like half a dude taking a kip. So better to be safe than sorry. Put an arrow straight through his noggin. Bonds are mate level 14. That's a bit of a harder shot. I reckon I can hit it. Ooh, just missed. I refuse to go over there and make this any closer. There we go. All right, Chelsea's down. I'll get my, not dead corn, put it on my arrow back. Thank you very much. Chelsea, got something for me? No, nope, you're going to take my arrow to the grave with you? All right, fair enough. Well, there is a kitchen over here that I want to raid. Hopefully find myself some more food supplies. Watch out for this octagonal pot plant down here. Don't want to bang your knee on that and trip over yourself. Come on, give me something good. There we go, some more water. Always, always a fan, especially now in the new alpha that I seem to burn through uh, my, whatchamacallit, my, um, I have a very high metabolism now, higher than I used to. So when I find some supplies out on the go, that makes me feel a little bit better. Give me some coffees. No, nope, no coffees, no frothies. A little bit disappointing, but not the worst. There we go. One more lockpick. Now, if it's a locked chest upstairs, my new theory is, because that, uh, that lockpicking candy, uh, I hate saying candy. It's not, Australians don't call lollies candy. We just don't. It's not a, a word in the vocabulary. But in the game, they're candy with a K, so I have to do it. Uh, but because that like, lockpicking candy lasts 10 minutes, shit, then I feel like my best option here, that's the wrong button, is to kind of line up a whole bunch of chests in one go and then run around with lo one lockpick as I falsify you and get them all in one fell swoop. You know, cruise around and just bounce from chest to chest to chest and take advantage of all 10 minutes that the candy gives you. Any toilet guns? No toilet guns. I don't have my, um my filter system for my helmet on either so i can't take the the murky water with me anything up the stairs there's a cheeky bag right there i can hear someone trundle around outside some more water where are you in fact oh before i focus on you isn't there normally a vulture up here is there an ibis is there an ibis coming to ruin my picnic i hope not it doesn't look like it all right good then i can just take come up here take pot shots this old mate uh, uh. oh right in the spine what have we got? It's an unlocked chest. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, lucky goggles. I'm not sure why I didn't do that to start with. Got some uh, chili out of that one. Ammo pile. Shotgun ammo in 7.62s. All right. Not bad. What's in the box? In the box. 
Not much in the box today. Uh, Bonobus ammo. Don't have a bloody boy, but I do have a shotgun. I'm so thankful I found that shotgun. I really am. I've, I've started like a couple of other games here and there for like streams and stuff like that. And finding that shotgun on day one is like the pinnacle of my achievement so far. Nothing has even come close to satisfying me anywhere near as much as that. You heard that right, Chelsea and Arlene. Haven't seen Jen yet now for 19, but I've heard good things. So we'll see if she can satisfy me like that. But so far, that shotgun is just like, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. But one POI down. It's five past six. Let's go do the mission for old matey. We can go hand it in and get some rewards. Oh, surely not. Surely the bakery is not a tier one fetch quest. That's a much too big a building to be a tier one. Well, it's just going to have to be, I suppose. I'll quickly grab some wood out of you. Not going to cut you all the way down. I'm going to do the worst thing possible and just like strip the bark off you, apparently. Make myself a secure chest and just bang that out here. Because I am going to fill... I'm, I'm already pretty full up on inventory uh, slots, actually. Quickly put you almost on off the ground. That's fine. You down to there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Once I caught a fish alive. Boom. All of you into there. I'll come back and get the rest of you in a moment. Dude, you're way too overdressed. I mean, were you just here on a lunch break or something? Why are you chilling out at the bakery? How is this where you died in the zombie apocalypse? Go back to the office or something. I'm pretty sure your boss won't approve that kind of leave. Well, we know the drill. We're going to go the double loot, which I have seen people calling a glitch. I don't think it is a glitch because they have to be able to reset the POI if you're going to be able to do quests in there because you never know what mups like me have come through and destroyed before the quest actually goes down. You might like, send a quest to an already destroyed POI, which just wouldn't work. So... Not quite a glitch, I understand what has to happen, but it is definitely taking advantage of a game mechanic, which isn't my style at all. Not sure why anyone would accuse me of doing that. Ah, oh, cook and murder you. Man, the bow just feels so good in Alpha 19. Like, giving it the, like, the increased stealth damage is a wonderful idea. It makes it so, like, you know, different, like, it's clearly a sledgehammer with no stealth damage, which you'd kind of expect. I've heard rumors as well of the knife having, like, 400% stealth damage, which is insanity. Oh, okay. I oh my Jesus, Teddy fucking Christ. You just teabagged me. You wiped your scrotum all over me schnoz. Oh God, I can smell your gooch. And I'm going to be able to smell it for the next six years. Have a fucking shower, you disgusting hobo. Oh my God, where did you come from? Oh, that was a thing. That was a thing. I thought he was coming through here. Turns out he wasn't. He was just luring me into a false sense of security so he could nut drop my forehead. Oh, got some honey and some 762 in the purse that's up the top here because there's always little secrets hiding around if you care to look. I came up the other way. Oh, shit. All right, I don't think there's anything up there anyway, but that was the way I think you were supposed to get up there. Oh, well, whatever. Let's keep on pushing on up to the top. No pigeons. There is one ibis. All right. Ah, oh, quick deal with you. Please no more. I don't really mind what you send at me, game. Just try and keep the fluffy fucks to a bare minimum. There's another one there. Oh, I hit you as well. Oh, I love it so much. It's really encouraged me to play in like a stealthy way as opposed to going loud and proud uh, up the top like that. Because I usually I just run in here with a shotgun, get everybody woken up, and then try and, you know, hold my own against it. But this way, I get to try and at least pretend like I know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, oh, come on. How did that miss? Was it too short? I don't think so. Go long, buddy. Oh, got him. Got him in the arm, maybe, or in the ankle. I'm not sure. We'll put another one into him. We'll kill him before he comes close to me. Oh, it's gone well too high. That's right. I'm going skate shooting with arrows, because why not? There we go. Finally put him down. Took his arm off. Oh, there's a Nancy right there. Salt Nancy. Sorry you didn't get to see the show, but I had to just quickly dispatch old matey potato down there before I moved on. Uh, anyone hiding in this thing? I don't know if there is. If Nancy's hiding outside, I'm not sure why they'd be inside. Now nah, we're looking pretty good. Okay. No others. Get all my arrows back before I move on. This is good, though. I'm feeling good about this, which is dangerous. Whenever I start feeling good about something, that's usually when the game bends me over. But right now, I'm feeling slightly positive. Oh, I see that ammo pile out there. It's temptation to the max, but I'm going to avoid it for the moment. I'm going to try and sneak out over these rafters here and see if I can get a sneaky-deaky shot like that one on anyone who's asleep downstairs. That's a sneeze guard, not an arrow guard. Oh, how did that miss? Come on, look, I'm right on her bloody earlobe. There we go. Thank you, God. Arlene's getting matrixed. She's not even awake yet. That's how bloody Neo she is. Anyone else down there? I can't really see anyone, so it might be pretty safe to grab the ammo pile. Uh, I mean, that's all right, though. I don't, I don't mind you giving me shotgun ammo, because I will always find a way to use it. Can I just, like, sneak across there? Need to go a little bit further. I can't quite, I can't quite see your head. Oh, okay, there we go. Yes, good. Okay. 
There shouldn't be too much more down there, I don't think. So it should be alright for me to come on down and have a quick little gander about. Who have we got? We've got one Muppet in there. Anyone else? Got my arrow back from Arles. Nah, we're alright. Okay, come out the front, please. I'd very much like your company. Just a little bit more to dance with you, though. Can't dance with you behind the counter. We're getting lots of foodstuffs out of this place. I mean, I guess it is a bakery, so that kind of makes sense. But, I mean, I don't know about you, but when I buy bread from the bakery, it goes off in about six hours. I'm not sure how all this stuff is still here. I guess not picking up bread. I'm sure there would be some moldy bread in here somewhere. This is all canned goods. Some more yucca. Got some coffee for me. Coffee beans. Ooh, that's a new thing. With some food in it too. A freezer. All right, I haven't seen that uh, that item, well, not item, that um, that that prop in here before. Makes me kind of want to play prop hunt, though. Man, prop hunt's a good time. Um, I think we're pretty good to go to the next part. Is there someone hiding at the back here, or is this just the loot room? Don't get too complacent, Josh. There's always someone hiding somewhere for you. As soon as you let your guard down, that's when someone drops out of the ceiling and wipes his gooch on you. Ah, uh, there's a wall safe in here. I've got two lock picks. I don't have the lock picking candy though, and it's about to get reset. So. Do I just give it a crack? I mean, I think I do, because the worst case scenario is I break both my lockpicks, don't get into it. It then gets reset anyway as I punch my mouse in the face. Uh, but then I come back later on, mark on the map, come back with a lockpicking candy and get into it another time. So I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Some Vegemite Sangers and some meat stew. I am over encumbered like Santa's bloody backpack. You know, I might just scrap all those cans. I don't need them. Throw away the glass jars. There you are. Don't need those. Uh, do I have any, like, wooden stones? We've got, just got water. I don't have any stones or anything. Don't need one. Coffee. How am I looking? I'm a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty, not particularly of either. Piss that one off. And that might just have to be about it for now. All right. That's fine. No harm, no foul. What's in the iron desk? A cigar. It's only worth 11. In fact, do I, do I already have one? I'm already wearing one? I am. All right. Thanks. Well, I'll just throw that one away. Uh, all right. Reinforced chest. Last but not least... A, a storage pocket mod, lovely dovely, a stun button, I'll scrap you, in fact I'll just take all of that, make sure I've got everything in here, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, we're doing okay, alright, where can I put that, um, what's it called, that pocket mod onto, I've got lots of items, but none of them with some extra mod slots, that one has one, boom, go in there, it's gonna free up some inventory, love it, let's give the wall safe a crack, I'm pretty chockers, but it should be alright, I mean, we never know what might uh, be in there, we found M60s crammed in wall safes before, so finding anything in here might be a good time, no, never mind, broke both the lockpicks in about four seconds flat, cool bananas game, that's all stone, that's wood, can I sneaky deek my way through here then? That's good to know. So next time I come through here, I know I can break through that wall there and get to the loot room nice and quickly. Because you never know where the fetch might actually be. You don't have to go through the whole POI if you don't have to. All right, cool bananas. Let's drop all this shit off into my box over here as the weird music starts again. Boom, all in there. Still pretty stacked up though. All right, here we go. Let's get it reset. Where are you going to be? You're up somewhere. Damn it, I'm going to have to go through the whole POI, aren't I? There's someone in here somewhere, but I cannot see them, so I cannot shoot them. And I just... Jesus, I just kind of realized... Is there anything actually... You know, I don't think I actually went into that little uh, little corridor. Not little corridor, that little room over there. Which is probably a bit silly. Let's turn my headlight on, given they're already awake. I'm not really saving myself any stealth at all. Come on, okay, you need to die. You're getting in the way of all that behind you now. There we go. And... Oh, right, and the schnoz for you too. Man, the spear feels good too. The, I mean, maybe all the weapons just feel better now. Maybe the weapons have had an overhaul, or the zombies have like kind of scaled to match the weapons when you're rolling with it. But these days, whenever I'm rolling with any weapon I've got, I'm feeling way more powerful, and I love it. Oh, there's the moldy bread. There it is. So I can't figure out. There's something up there, but I'm not sure what. Or maybe it's up to the ceiling or something like that. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get into this place then, or if it's even particularly worth it. There's another door just over there. This is all concrete all around here. There's no sneaky deaky way in. So I guess I'll just have to like hope I find I, I stumble across it a little bit later on as I fall down the ladder again. Man, ladders still not getting on. All the, the problems I had in Alpha 18 are following across to Alpha 19. Kill the bin chicken. Anyone else around here? There usually is. Turn my headlight off so I don't wake up old Loza over here. God, it looks so satisfying. When they're real back with an arrow through their noggin, God, it makes you feel like a big man. So that's the whole down to where I just was. Uh, okay, well, I'll go down this next area, and then there should be a way, hopefully, into that little cheeky room over there. Like, that that door there. That is the door I'm after. So that's why I didn't get there last time, because I snuck out... Oh, there's the Kruger satchel. Snuck out over these rafters to murder some Jeff. So I'll do the same thing, but this time, hopefully, remember to go back up and grab whatever's behind that door. 
There we go. Didn't get blocked by the sneeze guard this time. Apparently, uh, zombies don't like getting sneezed on or shot in the face. Can't really blame them for that in times like these. Oh, you're looking all sorts of messed up. Even more so now. You don't have any brainstem left. Usually one more behind the counter again. Let's go the sneaky deaky. Let's go and creep around here. Making lots of ruckus by sprinting while we're crouching. Easy. There you are. I see ya. Oh, I love a good solidification. I really do. Now it looks like about it. All right, take my arrows back. Let's see what's upstairs. Was there anything actually good in here? Just some trash in a bag. Not sure why you had to like lure me in with like the, the hanging light and like the, ooh, what's that in there kind of thing. But sure, whatever. Ooh, but some tier six knucks. Not really planning on punching any mups these days because it's been a long time since I did the fist only challenge and I wasn't that good at it back then. I doubt I'll be good at it now. Drop down here. All right, where's all the good stuff? I came out of here with a sack full of food last time, which was definitely good times, given I was really low on it back home. But I'd very much like to do the same thing again, if you wouldn't mind just fucking my face with deliciousness. Make sure there's no one waiting for me in here. No, we are all good. We have the loot rooms to ourselves. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here, go into here and say, save waypoint. We're gonna go, uh, uh what should it be? Sure, that one, one up. We're gonna go locked chest. That's almost the word I was trying to spell, but good job fingers for kind of getting it right, but not really. I'll leave that there for another day. So I know that when I have the lock picking candy, I can bounce through this one, like the gun safes that I know where they are too. Just kind of hop from hop to hop all through the safes. Oh, some diamonds, uh, some padded boots, some more nugs to sell, and uh, pick all the locks all in one 10 minute period and get the most bang for my buck. That seems like the best idea. Although my idea is very rarely pay off. Right, we are fully cucumbered and ready to roll. How far away am I from Trady Potato? Not too far away. I do need to go see him before anything. God, the music started that I thought the uh, zombie was coming for me. Let's just open you up and fill you with as much stuff as I can. Um, what don't I need to sell to Trady? Don't sell the diamonds. You can use them for stuff later on. Don't sell dog food. Or like, I just saw all like the food and water and stuff like that. The stuff that I know I'm not going to want to sell but do need to take home with me seems like the best option for that. I can't quite take everything out of you either. Shit. Okay, well, I'll just go through and uh, do what I can. I want to take everything that I can with me. I don't want to leave anything behind. But like uh, plant fibers and cloth fragments, don't need them right now. Although cloth fragments and glue, as shit just explodes everywhere, does make uh, some, uh, uh, some duct tape, which is definitely more valuable. I might just have to leave some of this stuff behind because, I mean, there's stuff in there that I don't want to lose forever. Like, I've got beakers back home. I don't need to worry about it. I'll also go here and go uh, here and go gubs. All right, so when I come back there another day to get the Lecoq chest and also my gubs, I can trade all that in. Um, I definitely got the supplies. I... Holy crap, did I not get the supplies? After all of that, I forgot to grab the goddamn supplies. I saw them upstairs and I was like, oh, I should get those. Then immediately forgot... Josh, this is why you can't have nice things. Because as soon as you come even close to doing a good job, you faff about and ruin it for everybody. Oh, I didn't even realize that was there. Speaking of the fists only, there's the base that I lived in for fists only. Ah, oh, the memes. The memes of my little tower and the rooftop farm and my Zawoodle flag and my zombie proof walls, which aren't zombie proof walls anymore. So, not sure how well that base would hold up anymore. I mean, a wall's still a wall, I suppose, but the zombies wouldn't be quite as harmless as they were back then. Ha, uh, it's always fun, like, stumbling across some of your history and reminiscing about it. That's kind of why I always want to live in a new POI whenever I start a new series. Because whenever you do have, a, like, a specific POI from a specific series, you always think, Ah, oh, I remember those times. You remember the good times. You don't necessarily remember the, uh, the other times, like when you fall through a floor into a room full of radiated zombies and have your organs torn out. Just uh, pull up out the front like this. Now, someone much smarter than me at some point recommended that I should probably go. Let's throw these away just for a second. I should probably make myself... Yep, there we go. I can't make out of you. A box just out the front so that I can dump the stuff that I don't need to take into traders out here where I can actually come out and grab it again afterwards. I don't like lose any supplies or anything like that. Plus, if I'm cruising past, I can just drop sellable stuff in here and come pick it up another time. So like, uh, I, mean, I don't really need much of it at the moment, I don't suppose. Grab you. Grab you as well. All right, I'll quickly duck inside and sell all this stuff and turn in the quest. But I can be there for next time. So I don't have to be cucumbered all the time. I can just drop off the sellables and not have to make the whole journey. I forgot this guy has dumb music on. Damn it. Before I trade in the quest, I'm going to sell a couple of gubs to him. Um, not into that item. Well, you should be. For goodness sake, let me sell the gubs that I bring you. That's the thing. I don't have to take it all the way back home now. I can just dump it in the chest outside and sell it another day. Uh, sell you as well. 
Yeah, I mean, that should be enough enough sp uh, enough space now for me to actually go through and claim my All quest. Right, so let's do it again. Where are my XP goggles? Yes, I am. I'm a pocket mod and $330 redos. I will take that. Thank you very much. And bang that straight onto one of my armor pieces. But first, T1 clear zombie, 400 meters to the southeast. That is, oh, it's only 10 meters closer. But I mean, sure, why not? Let's go. Wait, where's the southeast from where I am? Southeast is going to be back over where I live, so that seems right. Or north is up there, so they're both going to be in my town. I appreciate that for a change, old matey. Uh, let's take that one. Sure, why not? In fact, before I run away, you restock on day 10, which is tomorrow. So I'll should just have a quick little gander through your garbs and see if there's anything in here that's actually worth me buying. You have a tier 1 AK for only $300 redos. I don't have an AK, but I do have 762 ammo, so that maybe not won't be such a bad idea. That was almost an English sentence, Josh. Congratulations on fumbling your way through terrible grammar. Whatever. Or syntax. Whatever one actually applies there. Um, what else have you got in here? Nothing really else tickling my jibs. I kinda wanna buy it. I mean, it's a gun. A gun kills zombies, or bullets kill zombies, and guns fire the bullets. So, sure, 360 bucks, I will take that. Thank you very much. I'm going to sell all of this too. I've got to do that before. Sell all the stuff, Josh. You got the nugs. This is what happened to you last time. You came all the way here to sell some gubbins. Got distracted by something shiny. Surprise, surprise. I didn't sell anything. To fit on that uh, pocket mod, I had to take off my customized fittings, which is rather upsetting. In fact, what's, what's actually better? You do... 3%, but I've got some um, uh, these fittings on there. Modify, what do you do? You do 2%. So I'll swap you guys over. The gold buttons are the better ones, apparently. And I will bang that into another piece of armor later on when I have the opportunity to. In fact, I should probably just do that now. The stats are pretty similar, but I can put some extra stuff in there, which will help me out. So let's do... Let's let, keep the blue die, actually. No, take the blue die out. Swap you over, go into here, and go you, you, and you. There we go. So now, all right, we're starting to use all of our mods, which is probably better for me in the long run. Can I repair you just as is? No, I can't. Don't have any repair kits. No whackers. You're worth about five cents, but I'm right here, so I'll sell you anyway, old matey. Boom, sell that. All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. I, I, with pleasure. I've talked about it before. With all this rotten garbage in here, you're still the smelliest thing in that goddamn room, and it ain't exactly known for its airflow. Let's, um, oh, I'm so slow. I'm so slow and knackered. Let's quickly just duck on home. Uh, I don't have anything to put into that trading chest. That should be okay. Let's head on back. Oh, my poor, poor, my poor horde base. Ooh. I looked for loot bags. I knew I heard one during a hornet. I couldn't find it, but there is a sneaky loot bag just hanging out here for me. What have you got? All right, not terrible. I appreciate it. How did I not say that one last time? I was hiding in the grass like a goddamn snake. Try not to waste any time, because with any luck, I might be able to do the next raid as well. Put all of you in there. Keep that one on me. One, two. Oh, I don't need that one, actually. Piss that one off. That's where my lockpicks normally go, but I don't have any, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, I put this all in my sellables chest. So that was rather silly. Whatever, I'll deal with that when I come home later. We don't have a lot of haul to do during the nighttime hours right now. Because like, I can't build a pool on this house. In fact, I kind of still want to, like, where was it? Back over here, I think it was. Yeah, that one there. That, like, bachelor pad that I was in for a fetch quest a couple of days ago. That was a cool place to be. I kind of want to go move in there. But I only just had moving day out of that house. So... I'm not sure. Maybe at some point when I build a horde base, I might build it off the bachelor pad so I can live in the bachelor pad and have like a ramp or a, um, uh, what should I call it? What am I trying to say? A bridge, uh, over to my horde base, which seems like a pretty good idea. Easy. You moved right at the wrong moment for me there, buckaroo. You really sausage me on that one. Ah. Uh, better. Better. Didn't put him down. We've got mighty close. I'm going to ram up the arsehole with me bike. Hook. All right. Not quite the arsehole. Maybe just his knee. And then miss the shot. Oh, Josh, dip your soul up, but you didn't deserve that one. Oh, this is nice and convenient, though. The quest is a house I've already done, so I don't have to do the double loots. It's already done for me. All right, no whackers. Boom, get it nice and restarted, then. That's a real good time. I was worried I didn't have time to do the double raid. I might have to sacrifice something, but I guess not this time. This time, we're going to come through and take advantage of the situation like I always try to. I feel like... No, okay. I was going to say, I feel like someone's hiding behind there. They'll hide behind that one instead. All right, that's fine, though. You look hideous, both of you. I don't know why you're hiding in the closet together. But if you come out the front, I'll stab you both in the face with equal measure. Boom. One eye gone, other eye gone. Oh, now your life is gone. Well, it was gone a long time ago, but now your second one, too. 
It's just a clear quest, which makes my life a little bit easier because I can't forget to kill all the zombies. I have a bloodlust like no other, but I can forget to find the bloody courier satchel just like last time. So can't stuff it up too bad this time. Oh, this time. Targets in three meters have a high dismember chance. Love it. I'll use you. And we've also got the basic senses uh, book as well. But I'll use it as well. We're getting the shotgun messiah books, which is a good time. Can I just go like... Yes. Where did my spear go? Game. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you... I blew up my spear. You are shitting me. You are just wiping the gooch sweat onto both of your hands and pouring at both my eyes. I'm a... Uh, oh. <laughs> that was my tier five. My tier five purple spear is gone. Where is it, game? You brought in this whole marker system and then you just fucking explode it? Oh! I... Like, I'm angry, right? I'm angry, I'm mad. I feel like I've just been taken advantage of in all sorts of horrible ways. But at the same time, Josh, why'd you throw a spear at a landmine? Why? I mean, I shot it last time with a bunch of arrows that didn't explode. Why did you think throwing a spear at it would go any differently? What? I mean, I just kind of assumed it would just be stuck in the cabinet after it was done. I didn't expect to get blown into the next fucking dimension. I'm angry. I'm angry and I'm upset and my whole day is ruined. Well, I don't have much option right now because I don't really have any other melee on me. How, how much do I need to make a club? Uh, wooden club. Five bits of wood. All right, no whackers. I'll just break down this kitchen till I have enough to make some sort of stick to belt a zombie in the noggin with. I'm mad. I'm so mad. I'm so... It's a tier one club. My how the mighty have fallen. Huh. <sighs> All right. Cool bananas, game. Just when I think I've got you figured out, you find a new way to fuck me over. I'm going to try and go Hakuna Matata and do as Timon said and eat some witchy grubs, but also put the past behind us, which is going to be rather difficult because now I have to roll around with this old nuggety log and try and kill some zombos with it, which is going to be a whole thing. Come on, we can still rely on the bow though. Just kind of scalp him. There we go. Yep. Good. No more dots. So this room should be clear now. You've got to take advantage of what the game tells you. Oh, he did get salsa though. Always got to dip your chips when you find yourself some juicy salsa. Nice and slow. I don't want to have any more mistakes. I'm real annoyed. You're hiding something. Give me another stone spear. Come on, even just a tier one or something. I know I could make myself one, but I'm just annoyed. There's another oct octagonal bloody pot plant up there. I always thought oct uh, uh, pot plants were round, but I guess not. They're going to stick out some angles to really confuse you. Tier three football helmet. Well, that is a good time. Okay, well, I'm going to replace that with my scrap helmet because let's be honest, the football helmet is slightly better. Chelsea might like me a little bit more. And right now, I just I just need a cuddle. I think there's one. There is one like right next to me, but take the more high value option because those bows, those big boys are a whole other thing. So if I can kill him, I feel a whole lot better at taking on this guy, Mano Mano, with nothing but a bow and arrow uh, than I do with the other guy. There we go. Bonza, mate. Level 15. Got some skill points to burn. But I don't want to burn them just yet. I want to take advantage of all of this stuff. Are you? You are hiding something. All right. Cool knackers. What you got? Some cat food. I'll eat you because the cat food can't be used to make... At least, I mean, I don't think it can, actually. Let's go learn... That's almost how you spell it. Learning... Grandpa's learning elixir. Still only uses dog food. Rather upsetting. Don't know why they specify between the pets. If I could use the cat food for that, I would, but I can't, so I shan't. No, nope, nothing in there. Nothing behind you. I checked you already. Yeah, I did. All right, we're almost done with the POI. Can't be too many Muppets left. There's one there. I can see another one. Oh, he didn't go down. No, he didn't give a shit about the arrow to the forehead. He stood up and took another one. Took two shots. He must have been really desperate for some extra. So some extra sauce on his kebab. Take you back. No, take some arrows out of you. Yes, I can. Uh, make sure I search this. All right, so I've just got the garage left now. So uh, 12 more magnum bullets. I'm getting lots of ammo. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be getting this much ammo this early in the game, but I'm not upset about it. Another lockpick and some ammo out of that. That's good. 
Uh, come on, get in there nice and quick. It's gotta be, damn it, you're hiding nothing. I'll take the cobble, but you can't be teasing me like that. Well, this time I might actually try and do it the way the game wants me to do it. I don't have the stamina to, to fall down and break my ankles by missing that jump because if I can stay up on the roof up here, I can go full silent assassin, full hitman two, uh, and try and actually get a shot down on the Muppets down below. Don't know why I got caught on nothing there, but sure, whatever. We want to know the hitboxes are particularly this game's strong suits. Are they just down on that side? The dots are there. Oh, okay, there's one. That's a tough shot, but I reckon he hit it. Or oh, maybe not even know where that arrow went. There we go. Got him the second time around. Oh, and another one just there. There we go. All right, Questy is done. Go back and see the trader. I might be able to make it there before he shuts up shop for the night. I don't have faith in that though, but I'll take my arrows back. There's the one in the dirt. Take the loot and say thank you to the seven days gods. So don't try and bend me over again. Make sure I'm wearing the right gogs. Yes, I am. I don't need bloody glass jars though. Or one piece of paper. Piss that one off too. Uh, scrap you. Okay, gun store box. What have you got? Tier 6. Oh, there's some very shiny scrap boots and some repair kits and tier 5 padded boots. I'll take them and figure out which is better later. What's in here? A blundy boy tier 3 leg armor. That's actually pretty good as well. I'm wearing military armor, I think, but that's going to be better because it has more mod slots. Although it has zero armor rating. That's got to be a glitch, right? Zero? Zero armor rating. Even the fucking fabric shit has an armor rating. How do you have neg? All right, that's, that's, that, there's got to be something ro uh, broken with that for sure. I, okay, cool. Well, you're worth $65 for apparently nothing. Cool game. Uh, you're worth $10, so I'll scrap you. Blundy boy is worth $100, I'll keep you. Got some iron arrows as well. All right, well, cool bananas. Let's uh, get out of here because the sun is about to set. I need to get home in a sort of my inventory and also sort out my melee situation. I can't be rolling with this lumpy stick anymore, but I do. I do have the ability to make the iron spear, but I can't see what the stats are going to be like before I make it, which is kind of upsetting. But if I'm going with the same kind of principles as what the iron sledgehammer was doing, I'm expecting an extra third on the stamina usage, but it might actually be better and I can make a tier three. So... It might be worth it for me to invest in a um uh, a, a tier three iron spears because I just got lost my tier five one to whatever nether realm it's been sent to. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still just salty about it. I don't want to have to. I guarantee you as well. I'll make that tier uh, three iron spear and then find a tier four three seconds later. Just the way the game works. Actually, you know what? I'm going for it. It's risky. It's bold. But you know what? I like a nice even spread of Vegemite on my cracker. By the way, always have butter when you're hatching Vegemite. I've seen some, uh, like there was an Instagram post from Tom Hanks a while ago of him eating toast with like inch thick Vegemite. Nah, there's no way he actually took a bite of that. If he did, he would have spat it back out. That ain't how you eat Vegemite, buddy. I know, like, you know, you, you think you're all so great. You know, you survived on the island all that kind of shit. But this is a bigger island. We've got better food here than your fucking wolf shrimp. you got to eat it properly, though. All right, here we go. Okay, Let's, um... Fucker. You Change over to that one. And we'll get along just fine. What's the shop rules? Take a shit on the floor? Because it looks like that's what you've been living up to. Really Fuck, I hate trying to wreck. Okay. Another mod or a book I've already read. I will take you. Give me some money as well. Do you have any jobs? Let's take the other one. Tier 1 Buried Supplies. I can do that tomorrow before I come back to see what trading restock day has garnered us. But that is tomorrow, Josh's problem. Let's go home, sort out our life, and try and just be happy for four seconds. It's gonna use this one as a dump chest. All of you go in there. I will take all of that, but I need to put back in the stuff I need to sell later. So you can be sold. In fact, no, I'll keep you because your parts. I'm trying to keep the parts on me. So look at that. That's got an armor rating. I'd have. I'd want to know why that leather armor had no armor rating. That was horseshit. Uh. Okay. You can go back in because you're sellable as well. What am I missing from this slot here? I'm keeping that. Uh, oh, that's where the lockpicks would have gone before. Okay. Well, I'll keep the AK on me. You can go back to there. And I'll put everything else in this dump chest just here and sort through it a little bit later. Uh, I'll take the food stuffs with me because they go in the food box like that. God, I've got so much, so much food and water now. Raiding that bakery was a good call. I think I'm just going to have to do it. I don't need, in fact, it's kind of interesting that I don't need a workbench to do it. So first thing tomorrow morning, I will have an iron spear. 32 forged iron, wood, leather, and was it duct tape? It was duct tape. Okay, that's not where it is anymore. It's all in here. Got plenty of that, plenty of that. Um, What was the other thing? Duct tape and wood. Is that enough or am I missing? I'm missing a couple of bits of duct tape, but that's about it. I should be able to make that. I thought I saw some glue. Glue and cloth fiber. Lovely. Okay. 
Oh, man, what a day. I mean, blowing up my bloody landmine, uh, well, my spear on a landmine might cost me in the end, but it's kind of forced my hand to try the next stage of Speary Boys, which doesn't seem like a terrible idea. But before I do that, Javelin Mask. I've got two points to spend. I need th I need three more points to get the next level of Javelin Mask. will give me Tier 4 quality spears. And it doesn't actually give me an extra mod slot, because Tier 3s and Tier 4s have the same level of mods. So that probably wouldn't actually do a whole lot of good for me. What will do a whole lot of good for me is um, not Master Chef, not Pac-Man. pac, -Man. pac -Man was a waste of a point because you can get mods to give you that anyway. Let's go. I wouldn't mind another level of Iron Gut as the night closes in because then I wouldn't be burning through all my metabolism so freaking fast. I think actually a better idea for me. I'm going to have to I'm gonna go basically like an agility and I guess perception build. That seems like the best way to go. Because of how good archery is, agility is suddenly super, super valuable. So I'm going to put one point into there and I'll put one point into perception too. In fact... Uh, yeah, I will. I will do that. There we go. So I'm getting some extra damage on both of those. I know I said I wanted to get my metabolism sorted out, but to do that, I was going to have to spend uh, a, a two points into Fortitude to get the next level of Iron Gut, which, I mean, maybe someday. Maybe someday down the track I will, but not right now. Let's uh, get my spear on the go now that we've done that. Iron Spear, please be good. I beg of you. If you come out the other side being bloody a horse cock, even though it sounds impressive, it's not really what I need for the job. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to spend the night just kind of chilling up in my attic over here. See, now that I'm here, I kind of wish I was living in that bachelor palace over there. It was a sweet pad. Plus, it's next to the desert as well, not too far away from Trader Potato. It's a little bit further, I admit, a little bit more on the annoying side. I might hold off on doing that until maybe after day 14 because I want to know where the next tradie is going to be. If he gives me a quest to head off out here and there's another tradie like around here somewhere, then I'll absolutely move to the bachelor pad as my new base and build my horde base probably on the street outside or turn this one here or something around there into a horde base or try and maybe even turn my base into a horde base. Generally don't do that, but I might give it the reddest and hottest of cracks. But I'll spend the night chilling up here, sorting out my inventory and building my iron spears so I can come back in the next episode and continue to murder all the zombies. But I'll have to do that murder in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.